Yo, what's the haps guys? PK here, and today I'm bringing you guys a game where I got my ass handed to me. By a full party, no less, because I got matched up with the NWA, and let me say, these niggas had an attitude, because they talk shit at the end of the game, and I really don't understand why, because Ice Cube and Easy e camped the entire game. That's how you know they're trash. I, the worst part about it, though, was the fact that this is my first time playing on Fog, and since that game, I've played this map a bunch of more times, because I got this game played like a week ago. Like, not technically gameplay, because, you know, I got wrecked, but whatever. I noticed that people tend to camp inside that cabin every time I play this map, and I don't understand why. Like, why would you do that, man? <laughs> That's where Michael Myers lives. Have you seen that fucking house? The entrance of the house has a stuffed monkey holding a cigarette. That's creepy as fuck, man. Why would you want to camp in there? He has bodies stowed in the cellar and shit. That's just not a place to go. It doesn't sound like an inviting place. If I were to camp, it'd be out in the flower field somewhere nice and sunny where people walk by, but I don't know. But yeah, I hate when people talk shit when they win in a full party, man. Like, you're in a full party. That's what you're supposed to do. If you're in a full party and you lose, you're fucking up somewhere. Something's gone awry. Something is messing up here. Because if you're in a full party, and one man, you know, me, beats you, that means that you gotta kick some players out, you gotta do something, you gotta get some new players into that party, because I'll tell you something, a full party of .007 KD kids with no thumbs turn into a force to be reckoned with when they're in a full party, and they can fuck your shit up. And uh, it's like those RPG games where enemies get like a party, and then they kind of buff each other and give themselves more health and damage and shit it's like dumbass number one use cheer the other dumbasses you know got faster camp speed dumbass number two use noob tube everyone in your party has full health it's some bullshit like that i don't know because of that though i became the party pooper every time i see a full party no matter how good they are no matter how trash they are i gotta stay and poop on their party or their parade because i mean they're expecting an easy time. They're expecting to get to play against players that suck ass. So if you can go on, or you know me, I just really want to give them a bad time. So I joined, I saw the NWA was on the other side and I had to kind of show him what's up. Show Ice Cube that he's not better than me, that I can beat him. Unfortunately, we lost though. Cause like two of my teammates ended up dashboarding halfway through and I unmuted my mic so that I can talk shit to the other two guys that I thought were gonna dashboard too, but they turned out to be nice people, so I don't know. But yeah, you guys can shit on parties too. All you have to do is just say the ancient chant that I use right before I fight a full party. Swiggity swoogy, I'm a coming for that booty. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. But if you want to get better at the game, the next time you see a full party, you gotta stay and just power through it because you learn from the mistakes when you die if they shoot you in the back then learn to not let them get behind you that's how you improve at the game you won't get better when you're shitting on your six-year-old neighbor for you know a week straight if you really want to get good go against the full party and see how well you can do go against another full party see what else you can do try to kind of tailor your play style to kind of counteract theirs like a rock paper scissors thing if they're throwing rock at you then you got to switch over to paper and you got to take their ass out that's really all you can do but if you do that enough you'll get good at the game and then you'll be able to take on full parties way more often so uh, you know that's really that's really all you got to do man just if you want to get better at the game you got to play against good players pretty much so i don't know that's kind of why i hate full parties though because you know they're always they talk shit at the end of the game and they don't need to because it's supposed to be winning but it like if you're in a full party i got nothing against you but just don't be an asshole about it man don't you know be that guy that has to talk shit but it's if you're in a full party it can be cool sometimes to play against other full parties and just kind of have fun and you know all six of you guys go against each other and you guys see who's better and it's kind of it's fun so aside from that i also wanted to talk about the ripper in this gameplay for you guys that don't know about the ripper which is everyone that didn't buy the uh the season pass on xbox if you have the season pass you got the ripper right now which oh my god that thing looks fucking amazing it's basically another dlc gun so that makes two in one call of duty which is crazy because you know people went crazy over the peacekeeper and that was just one so imagine two now and it's already out for Xbox Season 1 passes. So I think the way they're going to do it is Xbox Season 1 pass, Xbox No Season Pass gets it a month later. 
PS3 season pass, PS3 no season pass, get to the month later, which is bullshit. Uh, let me talk about the weapon actually before I you know, go on. Uh, it's an SMG and an assault rifle hybrid, and it's not like it's gonna be an SMG and then you can pick it in the assault rifle. It's pretty fucking cool how it works if you guys don't know. It's an SMG, kind of looks like the P90, and the clip goes under the gun, so it's pretty, I don't know, it's weird, it looks like an alien disc gun or something. But then it has no, it has an iron sight and you can't put a red dot on it. And it's an SMG, so, you know, it shoots fast, has high rate of fire, uh, you know, a lot of bullets in the clip and does all of that. But then if you aim down your sight and toggle, like if you have the hybrid sight, a red dot comes from inside the gun. The internal components of the inside of the gun change and it turns into an assault rifle right there. And it takes like three seconds, I think. It's fucking awesome. There's less recoil. The fire rate slows down, yeah, but at the same time, now you can, you know, pick people off from farther away on the map. You get more range. That's badass because, you know, with the Maverick, the way I thought it would work is that you have an assault rifle, you hit a button, and then you change it to a sniper, and it take like 15 seconds or something. Maybe if you had reflex, it'd take less. But that's what I thought. But then when I found out that it's an assault rifle, and then you have to pick it in the sniper rifle class, I was kind of disappointed. But, you know, I don't really use the sniper, so it's whatever. But this gun, this seems like the ideal rush gun, because now... You put that bad boy on, put agility, put marathon, put toughness or focus, put dead silence, just run around like a maniac getting kills, and then you rush into a building, take everyone out, they start spawning behind you, way back there, they're trying to pick you off with that Remington, you pull up that red dot, bam, 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 you shoot their ass down and they can't do shit about it. That's what I'm talking about, that's what I want, that's the gun that I want, and I hate Infinity Ward for being so smart, because... You know, you got to say that, yeah, maybe they're selling out, and but it's really good business on their part for the cool gun to be put into a DLC and as a season pass. It makes complete sense on their, uh, you know, their standpoint because they're going to rake in that dough. I'm telling you, if I had the option, I would fucking buy that gun right now and just go to town because I didn't really like the Maverick too much. But this gun looks amazing, and I suggest you guys look it up. Like I said, it's out for Xbox One or maybe xbox one but xbox for sure if you have the season pass so go look up some gameplay for it because it looks fucking amazing until then i actually cut out the gameplay because this game was incredibly long so i'm just gonna cut it out show you guys the final score i don't know what it is because i didn't cut it out yet so uh we ended up losing though i know that i think i lost by three four points i think we ended up losing we got triple caps at the last second which isn't too bad considering it was pretty much me and uh two other guys i guess but aside from that you know everyone on the team went completely horribly negative i ended up you know trying my balls off and still losing so it was a depressing game but whatever we're done with that so leave a like and subscribe if you guys liked this video because it really helps my channel grow until then i'm gonna catch you guys later ben pk peace